Hello and welcome to Bunny Hop. My name is George Weedman and I have with here today Dave Finoy, the voice actor for Lee Everett from The Walking Dead. Could you go ahead and do a bit of Lee to start us off? Kitty! What the hell, man? Well, shit. Clementine, are you okay? You did good, kiddo. Real good. You couldn't have picked two better lines. <laughs> so, what uh, attracted you to The Walking Dead when you auditioned for Lee? Well, being an actor, um, well, for one, work. Uh, <laughs> you know, Understandable. That's what you do for a living. Uh, but the character attracted me because it was a very three-dimensional character. I've done a lot of game work, and this was one of the first times that uh, the character was just a regular guy. He wasn't a creature. He wasn't a superhero. He wasn't a warrior of some kind. He was just a guy in a horrible situation. He uh, felt like his life uh, was at an end. He'd found his wife cheating with another man, killed them, he was on his way to prison, and the zombie apocalypse uh, freed him from that fate and introduced him to a little girl uh, whom he took it upon himself to protect, and that is his redemption. Were you already a fan of the Walking Dead franchise before they you know, came I, to you? I had watched it. I liked it. I wouldn't say it was one of the. It wasn't one of those shows that I was going. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, it, it, tonight's the night. I'm recording them all. But I was watching the show. I did like it. I was aware of the the uh, graphic novel. Um, but I've become a much bigger fan. <laughs> Uh, since doing The Walking Dead. That's game. understandable. It was a huge success, and I was wondering if the success of the game has, how has it affected you personally? Well, here I am talking to you. <laughs> um, there you go. You know, it, it has been one of the best things to happen in a long career. Uh, like I said, I've been on a lot of games. Uh, I'm a voice actor for a living. Pretty if you watch advice. Hulu, Hello. you hear me before oh, every show. I uh, do a lot of TV promos, commercials, and narrations for uh, different uh, networks and, and cable outfits. But this has given me a notoriety that I didn't have before. Uh, the game was nominated and won more than 90 Game of the Year awards. I was nominated for five or six best performances, won a couple. Uh, was nominated for BAFTA, uh, British Academy of Film and Television Arts Award. Uh, got to go to London for the ceremony, wear my tuxedo. <laughs> uh, but I did not win. Some English fellow took away the prize. Oh, well, just damn him, damn him. Getting nominated must be. Well, you know, good I, I completely and totally understand what the actors who are nominated for Oscars mean when they say it is an honor to just be nominated. Um, it, it's given me a, a, a whole different uh, look at my career. I'm getting the look back now. Where people say, oh, this guy in The Walking Dead game, what else has he done? And they go back, oh, wow, well, uh, Worlds mm -hmm. of Warcraft, Worlds of Starcraft, Dota, Metal Gear, uh, Fallout New Vegas, uh, you know, let's go Ultimate Spider-Man, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, and, and now I'm at Dragon Con. Speaking of your past career is, um you also do cartoons, right? Yes, I do. And how much of a difference is there between voicing some passive entertainment, like a cartoon you watch, versus voicing f characters for a game that you play? Uh, well, the biggest difference, I think, is uh, how they're recorded. Uh, with animation, more often than not, you're recording in a studio with several other actors, and you're going through the script uh, from page one to the final page. Uh, with games, you're almost always working by yourself. And uh, typically, you have a bunch of greeting lines, a bunch of attack lines, a bunch of taunting lines, a bunch of lines uh, calling for help. Is uh, that how they have them categorized? Uh, yeah, basically. Huh. basically. That's very uh, and then you're, straight you're, to the you're, point. You know, you're, you're, taking, you're giving blows, you're getting a blow. Uh, you know, give me a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got a dirty mind. Um, <laughs> You, you know, uh, and now a big one, uh, you know, and now you're hitting somebody, uh, and now a big hit, uh, and this was none of that. This was all dialogue uh, for the Walking Dead game, so in some ways more like, like animation, except I was doing it by myself. So 
And for the Walking Dead game, the character you play is the main character, and the whole game is just like a series of, of dialogue choices almost. And I was wondering, what are some of the challenges regarding recording lines for conversations whose flow is up to the player? Well, you know, um, I didn't find that challenging, uh, other than the number of lines. Usually you're looking at maybe 300 lines uh, for a lead character in a game. This game had five episodes. Each episode I had 1,200 lines because of so many choices. So but, it exponentially increases yes. per amount of choice. Yeah. Why I don't think it was difficult is because as human beings, we react differently sometimes to the same stimuli based on uh, what mood we're in that day or what else has happened to us. Uh, you know, you had an argument with uh, a buddy or your boss or your your, your uh, lover or something and, and uh, now you're not in a, a really good mood so the person that would have gotten a, hey how you doing now gets hey what's up so uh, we all have different emotions and moods in us uh, and I just took that character and this is how he is when he's angry this is how he is when he's happy this is how he is when he's sad this is how he is when he's trying to hide something so, um, do you have a favorite role that you've done for video games or animation? Well, I really have to say The Walking Dead game playing Lee Everett uh, has been the pinnacle of my career. Um, it has been one of the most fun characters to play, uh, one of the most challenging characters to play, and a character that has become beloved. And it's, once again, it's a character that's brought me here, so I, I have a very strong... Uh, and one last thing I wanted to ask was, um, as video game voice acting is becoming a bigger industry, I was wondering if you guys are seeing more actors who are specialized in it versus other well, mediums? Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, more often than not, video game acting is more realistic than some other forms of animation acting. I can do crazy characters when you do it now. You're doing animation, ah! But for video games, typically uh, you're playing more real characters, uh, more understated until you're screaming about you know, shooting this guy or uh, grenade run. Uh, so yeah, it is getting more specialized and we're just beginning to see uh, stars emerge uh, in voice acting. Uh, Melissa Hutchinson is becoming a star mm -hmm. uh, who plays Clementine. You've got uh, Troy Baker. Nolan North, uh, uh, Jennifer Hale, and... Oh, those two are in everything. I, yeah, and if I do add myself, Dave Fenoy now with the notoriety from The Walking Dead game. Uh, I was talking with uh, Troy Baker, a friend of mine, and we are saying, well, we can't wait for the first buddy game where they're going to get me, him, Nolan, Jennifer Hale, uh, and who knows who else to all get into a, a star-powered <laughs> game. <laughs> it's like the Expendables, but the for Expendables voice actors. For, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right, well, cool deal. I really appreciate it. We actually burned through those questions fairly fast, so um, really well, appreciate it. My pleasure. And, uh, Friend me on Facebook, <laughs> yeah. like my page, Dave Fenoy, voice actor. Uh, follow me, at Dave Fenoy, and uh, see you.